not just about the manger where the baby lay. It's not all about the angels who sang for him that day. It's not just about the shepherds or the bright and shining star. It's not all about the wise men who traveled from afar. It's about the cross. It's about my sin. It's about how Jesus came to be born once so that we could be born again. It's about the stone that was rolled away so that you and I could have real life someday. It's about the cross. It's about sing we all know well. We are so thankful tonight that we get to share some of these presentations with you. Um, students who have shared and learned songs and Bible verses um, and musical pieces and they're here to share with you tonight and even though we can't be with you in person, we're really very grateful that we can be with you on the screen and share what the students have learned. And this year I want to just say Thank you to our teachers in a very special way. So many of them have shared from their skills, their talents, and given up their time. And even our students have worked extra hard this year to produce this concert. And so we just pray that you would be blessed by it. We pray that the Lord would be pleased with what he hears and sees this evening, and that we would bring him glory and honor through this presentation. So please bow your heads with me in a word of prayer, and we will begin. Heavenly Father, Lord, it is because of you that we are here. It is because of you that we can worship, and it's because you have put gratitude in a song in our hearts that we celebrate Christmas in its true meaning, Lord, and that we remember the birth of Christ at this time. Not only at this time, Lord, but always we remember Christ, but this is a special time to celebrate. And so, Lord, we pray that 
our students would bring glory and honor to you. We pray, Lord, that our audience this evening would be blessed by what they hear. And we do thank you so much for Jesus and for this opportunity, Lord, to be together in this way. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Welcome to our Christmas concert. I'm so proud of our students. They've worked very diligently this year in learning new instruments and how to read music, memorizing verse and song. Even though we're not able to sing in our choir, we're still glorifying the Lord with our instruments and with our verses. We're also thankful that our students at home could perform virtually. Many, many of them did, and they're still getting a performance grade. And we're just so glad that we could do this even though it's different, there's more than one way to do a concert. Merry Christmas and enjoy the concert.
Praise God for His goodness, and we have a chance to celebrate God's goodness through this concert, Sing We All Know Well. We are thanking God that He became human some 2,000 years ago and through Jesus Christ, and now He has died and risen from the dead to offer us eternal life. And we can celebrate, and this is a unique celebration. Normally we're celebrating in person in this big spacious auditorium. Obviously you're celebrating at home, but it is still a celebration anyway. Uh, my name is Mr. Snavely. I'm glad to serve as the middle school ELA teacher and also fill in several different uh, roles in our developmental uh, part of the school. And I'd like to take a few moments to thank you for your support of our school and suggest a few things that you can be looking for how you can help us. First, I want to thank you uh, for the contributions to everybody who helped out with our Operation Christmas Child. Our goal was to, to package and ship 75 boxes uh, in connection with Operation Christmas Child. And in these boxes, we're packaging of special goods and we're sending them around the world. And with your help, we did not get 75 boxes. We got 80 boxes instead. And we're praising God that we can spread His love in a practical way to children, needy children all around the world. And in connection with that, we can track the, ba the boxes, those who package them, and we can see how, uh, uh, where these packages end up. A second thing I want to thank you for is for those of you who are helping out by contributing toward our Christmas gift basket fundraiser. Uh, each class in the school claimed a theme for their basket, whether it's creativity or a baker's delight or family game night or chocolate lovers, and we were able to collect uh, items for these baskets that we have wrapped, and this week actually is the big silent auction for these baskets. 
So you're going to see a link either below uh, and a comment on the Zoom webinar or perhaps um, in the different social media pages that we're posting. You can find the link at our school website as well. And that will point you to a place where you can make bids throughout this week, ending Friday evening. And you'll have a chance to bid for some of the baskets that we have available for this fundraiser. Everybody who submits a bid in this silent auction is automatically entered for a $25 Amazon gift card. So we welcome everybody to bid. If you say, yeah, that's a nice basket. I'd like to, but I don't think I, why not, why not bid one time? Just put your name into the drawing and we'll be glad to see your uh, support, your encouragement here on this website. So find the website, browse. We have 12 baskets available that you can be looking for and uh, trying to bid and win for us. Uh, something I want to make a note of is our open house that's coming up later next January 23rd. So after you come back from Christmas break, a few Saturdays later, Saturday, January 23rd, is our open house and our re-registration day. This is a chance for new families to explore our school, consider uh, what we have to offer here at Flushing Christian School, and those families who are returning, you're able to re-register as you look ahead to the fall of 2021. Now looking ahead, we're hopeful that we can have more of a normal school routine and school pattern. But the Board of Trustees is very understanding of the situation that we're in facing uh, with the COVID pandemic. And so the Board of Trustees has decided to freeze tuition for next school year. No increase in tuition. And there will be more information that you can expect to come to you after the Christmas break is over. But we want to mention that to you and encourage you to re-register. We do have special incentives in place for families who plan to register on January 23rd, that Saturday morning. One unique feature about the open house is it will be a combination of in-person and online through Zoom webinar. Similar to our remote learning and our hybrid learning, some people at home, some people in person, you can consider the options that are best for you in your comfort zone, what you would think would be ideal uh, as we look ahead to the open house. So you're welcome to join us on site, online, Saturday, January 23rd. Typically in the middle of a Christmas concert, we want to give everybody a chance to, to show their support for our school through an offering that we give in the middle of the concert. Obviously that doesn't happen like normal, we can't pass baskets around the living room where you're sitting, but we do want to take a few moments and give you a chance uh, to give toward our school. You're going to see a link that shows up, and you're welcome to go to our school website. There's a donation page there. If you want to take a few moments uh, during this concert to show your support for our school by giving toward our school in this way, that would be very, very meaningful. God often surprises us with people's generosity during the Christmas concerts. And perhaps if you're an extended family and you're watching with your kids, your grandkids, and you want to show your encouragement to them and your support for the school, you're welcome to donate uh, throughout the concert. Thank you for your time. Thank you for joining us for this concert. God bless, and we'll see you soon. Take care.
He was born in an obscure village, the child of a peasant woman. He grew up in another obscure village, where he worked in a carpenter shop until he was 30. He never wrote a book, he never held an office, he never went to college, he never visited a big city, he never traveled more than 200 miles from the place where he was born. He did none of the things usually associated with greatness, he had no credentials but himself. He was only 33. His friends ran away, one of them denied him. He was turned over to his enemy and went through the mockery of a trial. He was nailed to a cross between two thieves. While dying, his executioners gambled for his clothing, the only property he had on earth. When he was dead, he was laid in a borrowed grave through the pity of a friend. Twenty centuries have come and gone, and today Jesus is the central figure of the human race and the leader of mankind's progress. All the armies that have ever marched, all the navies that have ever sailed, all the parliaments that have ever sat, all the kings that have ever reigned put together have not affected the life of mankind on earth as powerfully as that one solitary life. Thank you.